controversial speech, white supremacist and racist Richard Spencer at the University of Florida this afternoon. Hundreds of police officers are in Gainesville still tonight to keep protests there from turning violent. And CBS 4's Hannah Doba is live tonight in Gainesville. And Hannah, Richard Spencer wrapped up, wrapped up his speech just about an hour and a half ago. What's the mood like on campus now that the event is actually over? Hi guys, well you can probably still see the police behind me and the barricades. This is what every entrance around the State University has looked like all day. I don't know if you can hear the many helicopters hovering above. It's been the same case since early this morning. Now, considering this was a relatively peaceful protest since the last time Richard Spencer spoke on a State University campus was in Charlottesville, Virginia, and of course that led to one death. Now, earlier this week, Florida Governor Rick Scott declared a state of emergency. Many people thought that was extreme. However, that allowed him to put more law enforcement on campus and put National Guard on alert, and that's exactly what happened. I spoke to many students today. They said they were very tense coming to class. They were tense uh, for weeks now. Many of their parents were calling them, telling them to stay inside, but they were reassured by seeing the police presence here on campus. Now, Hannah, we understand that, uh, that Spencer's group had control over who was allowed to, to come into the hall to hear the speech, and we have seen and heard that he was getting a lot of noise from the back of the, uh, the room there. How was it that things turned on him so quickly, and how did he react to that? You know, this is interesting. 700 tickets were given out right before the event. I heard many students complaining that those tickets were only being given to white students. But like you mentioned, once he took stage, there was a quarter that was booing him and chanting uh, many things that I can't repeat on air. And what he said is, you are trying to stifle our free speech. However, he did talk about his ideal white America. He also mentioned um, a peaceful ethnic cleansing when it comes to our country. Hmm. Hannah Doba, live for us in Gainesville. Hannah, thank you very much.